I'm going to show you how to uh, clock a dial caliper when it's not reading straight up 12 o'clock when it's closed. Now, most of these calipers, when you buy them new, they come with a little tool that you can use. It only takes a few seconds to actually clock it. But I've lost mine and so I'm going to show you how to do it with a beer can. You have a rack that is set into the caliper And then you have a gear, which is coming out of the back of the dial indicator, that runs on this rack. This gear is spring-loaded. It can move up and down. That's so that if a chip or some dirt or whatever gets into the rack and you hit it, it will jump over it rather than strip the gear or the fine teeth of the gear or of the rack. And what you're doing when you use either the tool that comes with the caliper or if you make your own, you can, I did it with a, with a beer can, I've done that before because I lost the tool. And what you're doing is you're sliding that tool between the gear and the rack. And you're able to move the two parts of the caliper until if you get the you get the dial to read zero and you put it on a whole number like one like two or three and then pull that piece out the gear will drop into the proper place and then when you close the caliper it's clocked back to the 12 o'clock position so, we'll fold this in half to stiffen it up a little bit. And then we're going to cut it so that it fits about the width of the rack. Put this on, sit on top of the, gear, the the rack, and I'm going to move the indicator until it goes up onto the piece of the beer can. And now it's slipping. It's actually slipping on the rack a little bit. If I set this at zero and I slide. Well, Well, there we go. Oh. There it is. You want it to be able to move without the dial turning. Set it at zero. set that at zero on the top and come to a full inch number such as two so my I'm clocked at 12 o'clock and I'm reading exactly two inches And if I pull it out, now if I pull this piece out, the gear should drop in. 
And there you have it. When the right at twelve o'clock. So, I mean, the, the beer can's a little thin to do this. If you got some shim stock, it would be better. Now, like I said, these dial indicators, they usually come with the tool. It's made out of copper, usually, or whatever. It looks like copper. It must be, might be plated. But you just lay it on the, the rack slide the moving side up onto it because the gear in the back of this is spring-loaded and that's so that you're not going to damage it if a chip or something falls into the rack it'll slide it'll jump over it but if you don't have the tool because you buy this or you come across it you can do it with a beer can